quick update on my certification review book. You guys sold it out. These big ones are completely sold out, but I still have the pre-sale. There's still a good number of the small one available. I really like the small one. It's more compact, like I can fit it in my purse. And I thought it might be fun to just flip to a random page and talk about a topic that I have in my course or in my in my course and in the book because the book is really the vast majority of my course. Let's like I said, let's flip to a random page. Okay, so it starts in the cardiology chapter talking about cardiac embryology. So cardiac embryology is super fascinating, um, specifically that the heart begins to quote unquote beat around 22 to 23 days of gestation. But when I say beat, it's not beating like in the way that our heart is beating. It's like these little primitive movements. So when you say beating, it's not truly beating. But um, by the time the heart actually starts pumping, it's around four weeks of gestation, which is incredible. And I love seeing all the pictures. If I can find some, I'll post them up here of how the embryologic heart develops. To me, in my mind, it looks almost like it's doing a dance. Like it starts off as these two tubes that kind of form together and then they do these twists and turns and we end up with four chambers and two great arteries, which is incredible. And actually even more arteries that involute later, but I won't get into that too much now. But so this tells us all about how much of that cardiac uh, anatomy and development is occurring so early in pregnancy. And that is why that is why there's such importance of prenatal care and also importance of folic acid, because we think about folic acid and how it reduces your risk of neural tube defects, but also cardiac defects. So that's a quick, um, quick little tidbit about some of the stuff that's in my book. Hope that helps.